Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Love Attemptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome Holly. How are you doing? Today we're going to play some more Walking Dead. Last time was a little bit of a shorter episode, but we finished episode one, so we are starting episode two, Starved for Help, today. Yay! And I've never played this game before, so this is my first playthrough of this, so... If this is your first time seeing it, enjoy it along with me. I do have all scenes. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug when- You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Holy! And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. He seems to forget I'm the one that got the medicine for him. Hello? Adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. I know. Sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have made a different decision. The only time I went back is when I accidentally clicked the wrong button. Three months later, wow. Damn it. Who's What'd that? they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hmm. hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. <laughs> I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh, You'll have to ask Lily. Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Uh, he's got a family. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Uh, yeah. He's just Larry's looking out for his daughter. Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <laughs> There's a bird to eat. Oh, 
Don't risk Don't. the noise. Gun shot will bring walkers. Right? It's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Uh oh. I'm afraid to see what we're gonna find. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me! Shot him the Travis, fuck up. maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck uh, is there a bear trap out you? here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh, we'll try. Gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. Oh. 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 Lee, you been gonna bring There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Oh god. Damn it, this He's is lost bad. so much blood already! Really please, Lee, hurry up! Get up! Out, please! All that blood and screaming? We're gonna be There's surrounded so any blood. minute! Please! Get me out! Damn it, this is bad. Try to cut the shit out of me! Something we can Just do! Get me out, please! All that blood and screaming? We're gonna be surrounded any minute! This can't be happening. Let's go, let's go! Maybe we can smash it! Oh fuck, oh god, hurry! Oh man, oh man! Hurry! Ah. How the fuck do you get these please, things it open? Has to be now! We don't know! Oh god! It's impossible! It locks or something! Hurry! Alright. Damn it, Lee! Oh, just cut off his it. fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we oh, have to go now. Have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again. Anything, please. Lee, I can't keep him back forever. Oh, go. Ah! Ah! I mean, he should pass out. Ah! Oh, God, there's so many of them. Oh. Fuck! I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. One more chop. <laughs> Shouldn't you tie it off, though? Oh, God. Shit. <laughs> Is he... He passed out. We're gonna have to tie it. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. Otherwise, he's gonna bleed out. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Just turn around and run! Oh my god! No! Well. That was pretty interesting. Holy crap. Episode two, two starved for help. Why would you do that? It would make noise. Oh, there you go. A lifeguard chair. That's pretty good.
I'd be screwed. I, I can't whistle. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell are these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Hey, you would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Come on, no. Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. Right? The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, well, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or yeah, later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. One. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. You only have four food items for ten hungry people. Hmm. Well, is he going to be okay? For I don't know. So we gotta Can you give, give me a something. hand real quick? Uh, sure. What sure. do you need? What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Um, it's what your husband wanted. Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, <laughs> you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Um... How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Um, sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Alright. My philosophy is we're gonna... Um... We're gonna give food to the adults. Hey, Duck. <clears throat> ah. What's up, Lee? Don't suppose I could interest you in some food. Uh, give half an apple. Apple, Doug? Sure. I never used to eat fruit. Now this seems like just about the best thing in the world. Thanks, Lee. 
Alright, um... Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. Did you shut up and quit being such a us. pansy? God, he's being a dick. Okay. Here, eat something. Uh, I give him a piece of jerky. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Uh, give the axe to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't I think to give me you. the axe? No. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh... I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. That's true. <sighs> Here, Larry. Get Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. I know. Uh, save the last uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the exactly. ones that need it. Alright, so let's go find Kenny, I think. You gotta keep the men. Yep, okay, there we go. We're gonna talk to him first and then we'll give him the food. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem no are welcome to come with us. Uh, the coast does sound like a smart idea. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. Well, if there's not I'm food my here, family. we need to go somewhere else. All right, now let's give him the last piece of food. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Uh, save uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. See, why can't I make the kids split it? Hmm. Here, we'll give it to this kid. He could be a big help. Want something to eat? We need strength. If your camp got raided, probably means you haven't eaten in a while. Tough choices, I but sometimes you gotta really make them. I am really hungry. Thanks. Yeah, maybe an unpopular opinion, but. I didn't need anything. Not such an easy job, is it? Nope. I hope I get to eat next time. Aww. I'm gonna I don't cry! Envy. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. What That's exactly is your problem? The... Excuse me? You had the food in your hands, and you didn't offer any of it to me or the kids. What I did kind of offer man it to you. are you? Don't make me regret asking you to come along on the RV. He's wrong, Ken, though. I did Lee. ask him. Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Um... What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Uh... Oh, shit! The axe! Hurry! What? 
How did Shit. I die from Kaja. The axe! Hurry! <laughs> Again, what am I supposed to do? Shit! Kaja! The axe! Hurry! I get it. Move! Move! Shit! It's stuck! I got him! Use an S to back to get away. Push it off! I don't want to hit you! Move, move! <laughs> Shit, it's stuck! Man, it <laughs> I got him! Him off. Move, move! Try this again. Uh, shit, it's stuck! Wish they would let you fast forward to this part again. I got him! Okay, it took me a couple tries. I had to shove them to the side with the arrow keys. Thanks. Doesn't say anything. Ugh. No problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What?! Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Wow. Uh-oh. Doug, 
It works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Uh, are they, people are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Uh, we don't want, we any, don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Uh, okay, we'll go You've to got the a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, nice. this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables nice. we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. <laughs> What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh, I grew up in... I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Um... Uh, it's a we work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh, nine including nine the kids. Nine including the kids. Well, ten actually, if you count the new guy. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food and, quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always... Those are the guys that raided. Don't think who? Haven't Those look like the people who Calm raided down, my camp. Is pissing who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <gasps> Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh shit! They're gonna Asshole. bring in markers with that shots. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Damn. Well, I mean, I guess maybe he should have shared the food. All right, we're going to stop it right there. 
that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button for me. Leave any questions or comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Till then, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned.